Cobble Cloud Castle, located in the city of Yellowtown, is easily the largest vanilla-made structure on Musecraft. At a rough cost of 300,000 cobblestone, it would take over 40 hours of straight mining with a diamond pickaxe to collect the necessary resources to build another one. Luckily, its builder, Ethosaur, had time. That footage you just saw now was from a server I used to play on called Musecraft from about 10 years ago. This is my first time ever making a video like this. It's something I've always wanted to do for a while. Hopefully you'll find it interesting. The server was fairly active at the time, despite being a small community, having hundreds or more of active players every day. Towns were sprawling and active, filled with players, each working away at their own things. But then, as with most things, the server went down, never to really be heard of again. Thankfully, due to a previous admin, who had saved the backup of the world, I was able to visit this world once more, after all this time. Now, this world lives on as a ghost world, an empty shell of its former self, only inhabited by NPCs, buildings, and treasures left behind by previous players. It's hard to imagine that at some point, there were players walking around here all the time, as an alive and active community. I wanted to have an in-depth look at the world once again to showcase Cobble Cloud Castle years later after its creation. But first, I would like to have a look at and talk about some other things. There's a certain eeriness walking by what feels like endless buildings and creations, each completely uninhabited now. It makes me wonder what each of those players who made these things are up to now, and what they are doing in life ten years later. I would imagine that most have since moved on and probably don't play Minecraft much anymore. One truly eerie thing out of everything so far that I've found is the signs. There are so many signs, and each sign tells a story of some kind from a long time ago, be it some random text, or some coordinates, or maybe just an ad for a shop. And boy, are there a lot of shops. All now completely uninhabited. In retrospective, Cobble Cloud Castle is not really anything special in any way. At its core, it's simply a mess of hallways, corridors, and dead ends, and consists of a massive structure leading to the top of the sky's build limit. There are plenty of nicer builds all over town. Most probably even think of it as ugly when looking at it, and I wouldn't blame them. A huge mass of cobble in the middle of a town but I believe it has character, is what I think I would say either way. Within the massive structure, however, there are untold stories, things from the outside one would probably not notice, and that is what I think makes it somewhat special. Underground, massive rooms have been hollowed out. When asked what the rooms were for, Ethosaur replied, for now, it'll be a secret. Oh yeah, 
that secret he mentioned. It was just going to be some underground magical forest of some kind. It's been a long time though, so I kind of forget. Unfortunately, I believe I never finished it. Aside from that, Cobblecloth Castle has gone through a lot of iterations and changes. From what started as the foundation, the entrance seen here, which has remained basically untouched since the beginning, lots of rooms have been added, removed, and rebuilt, some serving as farms, decoration, or storage. My favorite thing though, while exploring the castle on my own, was finding my old private room, and I still remembered the old chest I hidden under the floor which I hid is a sort of emergency supply in case something were ever happen. Secondly, the office. As I walked in, I discovered a single old book, and in it, some text from over 10 years ago. Sadly, the text was a bit broken, and a lot of it was missing. Though, most of it wasn't very interesting. Hopefully, I wasn't violating my past privacy by looking in this book. Exploring the castle further, it was strange seeing signs with my name on it from so long ago. I've kept the name Ethosaur for a long time. Some things never change, I guess. I believe one of the things that also made Cobblecloud Castle a little more special was the fact that it housed a small town. Housed entirely within the castle itself, making me the mayor of said town. A town within a town, if you will. Today, however, it stands as yet another ghost town, empty of all residents, never to return, I would imagine. Again, I can't help but wonder what these people who used to live here are doing now. As everyone was so active back then, I remember interacting with them on a daily basis. Sadly, I cannot remember most, if any, of the names around here anymore. I wonder if anyone remembers mine. Either way, I think a full in-depth walkthrough of Cobblecloud Castle would be something for another time, perhaps. It's strange seeing old references and other things that most people probably don't know or remember anymore, such as these golden pants, which was a reference to some old video, and later become a burn a pair of golden pants thing, which I doubt anyone remembers anymore. There are many other old references, jokes, and internet culture, all perfectly frozen in this time period. It reminds me of playing on maps like Mario Kart and Team Fortress 2 or other old maps from that era. I suggest having a look at the world yourself. There is a lot of hidden history here I think many would find interesting. Anyway, I can't really think of much more to say at the moment. Sorry if this video has been a bit of a mess, but I'm truly glad I was able to experience something from so long ago. Over 10 years later, for the longest time, I believed I would never see the world again, yet here it is, like a time capsule. Minecraft has changed a lot since then. People have come and gone, and I don't play the game as much as I used to, but I still love it just as much as I did back then, and I'm glad I could finally look back at the memories it has and continue to give me. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video interesting.